You've got a plugin or theme you'd like to start selling. I'm going to demonstrate the simplest way to start selling your digital product from anywhere using Freemius Checkout. When I say anywhere, I mean just about any web page you can embed a small piece of code into. Doesn't even have to be a WordPress page or anything like that. There's very little initial setup you need to do to get started selling, and I'll walk you through each of the steps in a bit. But just to get the gist of it, you'll need to first register a Freemius account, then set up your pricing that you want for your product, next integrate the Freemius SDK code into your plugin or theme, and lastly paste the generated buy button code snippet into a web page and start selling. That's the simplest and most friction free way to get those dollars flowing in. So let's see how exactly does it work. For starters, you'll need to register an account. To do that, head over to dashboard.freemius.com slash register and sign up. If you already have an account with Freemius, just click the sign in button. I'll quickly register a dummy account here and specify that I'm selling a premium only type of product. Once I'm inside my newly created Freemius account, I'll click the Add Plugin or Theme button and provide the basic info about my plugin or theme. When you're being asked for your plugin or theme slug, it is important to note that if you're going to sell a freemium plugin that has a free version hosted on the official WordPress.org repository, the slug you insert should match the slug your plugin has on the repo. When I'm done, I'll click on the Create New and my new plugin is created. I can then click on Plans to go and configure my product payment plans. If your product is premium only and does not have a free version, you should get rid of the free plan that's provided here by default. Next, I'll click on Add Plan and provide a unique name and title for my plan and click to create it. Since we said this is a paid plan, I'll switch the paid plan switch on and add my preferred pricing. I'll also set it to enable free localhost licenses for development and testing purposes. If you're wondering how you should decide on your product pricing, we have a great article on the topic. Just search the Freemius blog for an article called How to Price Your WordPress Plugin the Right Way. If you do not wish to block features when a license to your product expires or when a user had illegally obtained your premium version, but rather would like to block automatic updates and access to support, just switch this Keep Features switch on. Since everything is saved automatically, we can just click the Plans menu item to go back to Plans. You can see I now have a Get Checkout code next to my newly created plan. I'll click it and copy my customized embed code. To quickly test the code, I'll use an online code editor called CodePen, where I can just paste the code I've copied as simple HTML and immediately preview it, and see my buy button appear. I'll increase this button's font size so you can see it better. If I click the buy button, you can see this checkout form is completely functional. The only thing that I need to do in order to really be able to use this form to sell my plugin is to upload a zip file that contains my plugin or theme to the Freemius servers so it is hosted there and is available for download after purchase. I can upload my product's zip file to the Freemius servers right here at the deployment section so that when someone purchases or subscribes to my module they'll get an email with a secure download link to the product. If I wish to add software licensing and automatic updates capabilities to the product I'm selling, I can do that from the SDK integration section by simply following the step-by-step -step in instructions. When I'm done, I get this function I can copy and paste into my plugin or theme code. This will automatically enable a license activation screen that people who activate your plugin or theme will see on their WordPress admin for the first time. This is what the activation screen looks like and the user can inspect what permissions are being granted upon activation. You can obviously customize it to whatever message you'd like your users to see. I'll go ahead and activate the premium plugin I had purchased by pasting in the license key that was emailed to my inbox. 
After I've opted in, if I'd like to verify that it's functional, I can simply go back and click this check button. Now that I've configured and added the Freemius SDK into my digital product, automatic updates I release for it will work out of the box. What this means is that every time I upload a new version on the deployment section, all customers with a valid non-expired license will get a notification using the native WordPress updates mechanism and will be able to update with one click. Finally, if you wish to have complete control over your product licensing, you can wrap your code with license-related logic. The complete details and relevant instructions can be found in the SDK integration page under the Adding License-Based Logic Examples section. Freemius Checkout covers all of your needs as a seller and you've just seen how easy it is to get started selling your digital products with it. In case you can think of any questions for us, either see our Frequently Asked Questions section or shoot us an email to support at freemius.com.